Rajkumar. Uh, I'm basically an embedded uh, trainer from the last in training uh, uh, graduates and uh, my students from the last uh, five years. So, uh, like in the embedded systems, I basically have divided into four uh, modules. That is starting with the basic electronics and then working on uh, microcontrollers. And that will be the second module. The third module will be based on Linux. So that will be like uh, doing some Linux uh, system programming hands on on Linux. And also the last module will be like embedded Linux and device drivers. So basically in the last module, we will be writing device driver for a specific uh, module. It might be audio or video or any GPIO or drivers. So uh, let me discuss uh, all the four modules like uh, what you are going to uh, learn. So uh, starting with the basic electronics, like uh, as uh, embedded, like electronic students know the basics, like uh, the basic components. So initially starting will be working on uh, analog part of uh, this electronics. So in the first week we'll be uh, covering like the basic things on resistor, capacitor, diodes. And in the second week, uh, it will be like, the in the first week, it's a uh, individual theory and practical sessions. And in the second week, projects will be designed based on what we have learned in the previous week. So for example, here in the second week, it's been like designing regulated power supply. And this will be based on the components which we have learned in the previous week. So for designing a regulated power supply, we need batteries or any transformers. We need regulators, we need resistors, and we also need capacitors. So based on what we have learned in the previous week, the next week projects will be done. So like this, each and every week will be uh, done alternately like this. So this first and second week are uh, will come under pretty basic, like designing regulated power supplies, designing like a dancing LEDs, how to divide a voltage and how to design these voltage dividers. And in the third week, uh, we are going to learn what are ICs, integrated circuits, and also how to design timers by using this triple five timer. So based on this, what we have learned, we'll be doing projects and the hardware which we have to use that I'm going to uh, do it here and share the screen uh, from here and you have to do it on the practically by using these components And next we will be learning logic gates based on this we'll be designing some decade counters and We'll be learning the basics of the seven segment displays how to use relays and Probably we'll be going to op amps and latches. It's almost into digital electronics and in the eighth week we'll be learning about all the sensor like temperature sensor, slide sensor, pressure sensor. So each and every will be covering all the sensors by doing a specific project by using all the sensors. Like for example, if we if we want to design any LPG gas detection system, so we'll be using this sensor and how we am going to teach you how to design that particular circuitry. This is only with analog electronics. There is no programming and no microcontroller in these circuits. So how to design a security system based on only analog electronics. So like this, based on sensors, we can design uh, some projects like highway streetlight automation system. Like uh, initially the highway streetlights will be off whenever there is any vehicle uh, almost one kilometer away from the streetlight, it will be always on. So like this, we'll be designing some other projects like vehicle parking system. And in the 10th week, some sensors uh, based projects like sound operated electronic devices, automatic doorbell using proximity sensor. I mean, whenever any person comes uh, near the door, the doorbell automatically rings. He, the person doesn't need to switch, like he doesn't need to switch on uh, it. So we'll get the notification by using this bell and also temperature control fan. We don't need to, like based on temperature, we don't need to manually control the fan. It will be controlled automatically. So this, this kind of projects we will be doing. 
and in the level 3 it's almost like a dynamic uh, we will be working with dynamic devices like motors so in motors we do have different kinds of motors like stepper motor gate motors and we'll be learning different types of gears like spur gear bevel gear how to use this case to increase the speed of any uh, machine or any robot we will be designing some four leg robots so this is about uh, the will be work after working this motor motors we'll be learning about wireless communication so in this uh, we do have different kinds of communications uh, starting with ir that is infrared sensor so i'll be uh, doing one of the project based on this ir sensors that means by using a tv remote we can control different appliances in our home so i'll be i'm going to share that project circuitry and you'll be doing it on your own and then next we'll be learning about uh, radio frequency communication we'll be uh, doing uh, some couple of projects and finally uh, we'll be doing a major uh, projects uh, like a uh, radio frequency control pick and place robotic arm or designing an ir controlled home appliances so by learning all of this like it's in a starting phase so if uh, this any graduate learn all of uh, these concepts and do all the projects which are mentioned in this particular course he might get an opportunity in the mid level uh, companies where these companies will be designing uh, will be into product it might be a product based or service based companies so the guys who do this uh, course will be almost ready for the job in the mid level companies so uh, almost there are many requirements uh, uh, for the students who learn analog electronics specifically analog electronics who are masters in el analog electronics so in this there is no programming required only the thing is the knowledge of uh, hardcore knowledge of this electronics so this is about the basic uh, part of uh, the embedded module this is the first module so let me tell you the second uh, module like uh, and this the second module is based on programming the microcontrollers so this is where uh, we need uh, the combination of this hardware and software that is what we call as embedded system so as an embedded system we all know it no it's a combination of hardware and software so we control the hardware by using this software so in the microcontroller we can work on different types of microcontrollers we have 8 bit microcontrollers 16 bit microcontrollers and many more so as a part of the basic uh, kickoff program we'll be working on 8051 microcontroller or arduino that's based on the student interest so basically i would suggest to go uh, based on 805 microcontroller so where in the starting we'll be learning the way we'll be reviewing the c skills so we need a uh, c basics for learn going for learning this course so the basic c skills is uh, required or else we can brush up the same skills in one or two classes and then we can uh, get started with the programming and we'll be doing it in the keel software and uh, before that we'll be uh, reviewing all the number systems because we'll be using hexadecimal system uh, theory in that and uh, while doing the course we'll be get habituated to learn all these things and starting uh, the course with like the basic of electronic components like what we have studied in the previous module just a review of those components and then going to the next uh, topic like microcontrollers we do have we have different types of uh, controllers so what is 8-bit controller what is 16-bit what is 32-bit what is the difference between all these controllers so here i have designed like uh, the first will be the topic and what we are going to do in the lab session so we'll be developing how i'm going to teach you like how to develop the environment the setup and how to install keel software how to do uh, the basic programming and next we are going to learn on the architecture of this 8051 how the memory is organized what is program memory what is data memory and what is external memory and we have one more topic called very important addressing modes how to 
uh, use this addressing modes in 8051. And we are going to uh, learn basic uh, programming in assembly language for this 8051. And our more focus is into learning embedded C rather than assembly. So initially we will be learning about uh, like interfacing input and output devices, how to interface uh, devices. For example, if I press any switch, some action should be performed at the other end. So how to configure the microcontroller pins as input, how to configure the microcontroller pins as output. That is what we uh, learn at the initial stage. And then next we'll be working with LED interfacing, switch and LED interfacing. So LCD interfacing and in, in this LCD we'll be doing different kinds of projects like how to display a scrolling message on the LCD and we'll be working with seven segment displays like how to build a counter project and we'll be learning keypad interfacing how to interface a keypad and how to do a small project like designing a calculator on our own and then next we are moving to control AC devices by using this relay. So generally relays used to uh, relay is an electromechanical switch. So we can control AC appliances by using a relay and we can program it using by using it some timers. And then next we are moving to ADC interfacing like basically we use uh, ADC to convert uh, the data from analog to digital. For example, uh, if we take temperature sensor like this temperature sensor is analog it gives an analog output but the microcontroller is all based on a digital uh, that is one and ones and zeros so I, if i want to display this temperature this analog data onto the lcd it needs some converter that is what we use adc it will convert from analog to digital and send that data to the lcd display to display on it so we'll be doing uh, this displaying the temperature on lcd all these lab sessions uh, parallelly after explaining the theory and then next we'll be moving on to the sensors like pir sensor fire sensor ldr and ir we'll be doing home automation project based on these sensors like after doing this you can implement the same project at your home or office and it will be automated daily and then next there is one more important topic called counters and timers and interrupts so this is very important like how to uh, program any pin as interrupt how to design a counter how to design timers so you'll be learning these concepts and in the next week uh, we are going to learn a serial communication for example how to communicate between one system to the others 8051 based system so how to send data serially from one 8051 based board to the other five 8051 based board so how to set the baud rate that means how to set the number of bytes sent per second so this this is all we will be learning in this particular week and in the next week we'll be learning wireless interfacing like we have to interface like gsm or we can learn rfid interfacing like or zigbee interfacing and GPS so we can get the location from the GPS and we can display the location on the LCD where exactly we are so this is uh, the course content of this whole uh, module and uh, like what is uh, let me tell you the outcome of this uh, module like with this uh, like I'm sure like you, you will be having the basic hardcore knowledge uh, with the microcontrollers and also the programming so there are a lot of opportunities for the people who learn embedded c with the microcontroller knowledge and they will be uh, taking the companies will be taking them as firmware engineer or application engineer in their uh, companies so basically uh, i'm sure like if you complete this module you will be almost equal to a uh, one, one year or two years experience guy with the real time projects. Like after this projects, I'm going to provide a real time project which is uh, practically done in the industry and which uh, I am experienced on, which I am experienced on that.
So I have done some real time projects based on this embedded C and some microcontrollers. I'm going to provide you that project and you can keep the project in your resume and you, you can build your skills on that. So this is what the programming with microcontrollers module contain. This is the second module. And this is based, totally based on microcontrollers. And then next, moving on to the next advanced module that is Linux system programming. This is where uh, a high level uh, of embedded uh, skills needed. For this, we need to have uh, definitely a C uh, expert, expertise skills. So here uh, in this Linux, actually why we use uh, Linux in embedded system? Why can't we use some other uh, OS? First of all, Linux is an open source and it is available freely. And the source code of this particular operating system is available freely. We can even change, we can even make any changes in that particular OS. So we can customize it according to our needs. So many of the industries, many of the companies will use this Linux OS, Linux operating system in their hardwares and build their own customized tools. So let me tell you like what the exact uh, introduction to this embedded uh, Linux system programming will be. So uh, first of all, will be explaining you uh, the read like what is the difference between normal Linux desk desktop OS and embedded Linux. What is the difference? How to customize that Linux and how to port it to the new board. Like for example, to learn this Linux, practical to learn this uh, practical of this Linux, we need some development boards like Raspberry Pi, Panda board, Beagle board. So we will be learning all the concepts on the practical board. And in the second week, uh, like in the first week, I'm going to explain you the basic differences, like how our system boots, how the an embedded system boots, like initially there will be a, a bootloaders, you like a U boot, and the next how it comes to the kernel and how it forms to the root file system. And ultimately how it boots up from the starting, from the basic, like from when we switch on the system to booting up the whole uh, system. So we'll start with the basic uh, Linux commands. So we'll be working on Ubuntu OS, which is freely available. You can freely download it from Ubuntu website. So uh, initially, for nav uh, working on this Linux, we need some basics of basics to navigate that system. So we'll be learning those navigation systems in the second week like a basic Linux commands with example, we'll be understanding the Linux kernel architecture and then we'll be having some basics of shell scripting. So in the practical sessions, we'll be covering all this like some mini projects, like designing a menu, menu based system using shell scripting. Next, how to write, how to do programming in Linux environment. As I explained in my uh, like previous module, you will be doing in a kill software. It can be done in on done on Windows platform. It's an just an uh, ID. But here in this, you have to do it on a Linux based system. So how to write a simple C programs, how to compile them by using GCC compiler, how to create make files. Make file uh, generally, I'll be explaining you in the normal regular sessions like for compiling more than two or three C programs, we use make files. So how to write these make files is very important. So we're we'll learning how to create static and dynamic libraries. And the next, there are a couple of uh, topics like how to, how the process management, memory management, uh, thread programming. These are all uh, like very important if, if uh, you'll be if you learn this like this will be implemented in real time industrial equipments so learning this makes you 
an embedded Linux expert who can design a real time system. So like the basic outcome of this uh, project is uh, the same, the high the, uh, companies who are specially working on Linux can take you like after if, if you learn this and having some uh, real time project experience that is very important. Learning theoretically is uh, very common but doing project based on what you have learned is very important. So that is where the project comes into the picture and the project is uh, the project which you do should not be like a, a, a small project like an hobby project. It should be a real time project. So that is uh, where uh, uh, the project, like what, which, which the projects which I did, uh, comes into the picture. So I'll be going to provide you the projects which I already did in my previous companies, and based on that real time experience, it is uh, like very feasible to learn how to design a real time system, how to debug the issues, how to uh, like. Uh, do uh, how to follow this software development life cycle I'll be explaining you the how the real-time project will be executed in the companies like first the requirement analysis how they analyze the system how they design the system how they implement and how they test and how they maintain the whole project so you'll be learning all these stages in the project development phase and the last and final module will be uh, Linux device drivers. This is almost the final and the very advanced uh, state stage of this module. So in this we'll be working on writing some uh, device drivers for some specific modules. For example, if there is an embedded board and if I want to add some new chip to that board and there is no support of that chip to the new board, how to add that support? how to uh, configure that chip uh, to send some data to the particular board. So that is where device drivers come to, comes into the picture. So in the final module, we uh, work on different types of device drivers like character device driver, block device drivers. So all this, how to uh, develop some application and how to debug any issues. And we'll be learning uh, fine. In, in this stage, we'll be learning how to put Android onto the embedded Linux boot. So how to uh, customize the issues while porting. There are a number of uh, issues will be coming while we put an Android onto the embedded boot. So how to debug these issues? What are the common issues we face? How, how to resolve those issues in, when in the next stage? So these kind of uh, like things you learn in this module. The same like in this, I am going to provide you like how to uh, integrate an audio driver or any GPIO driver or any I2C protocol based driver onto the embedded board. So mostly, I'll be explaining you uh, the drivers and Linux on Raspberry Pi board or it might be on Panda board. So mostly I'll be explaining you on these two boards. And I, uh, since uh, currently uh, I, I have already worked on Qualcomm Snapdragon chips, so I'm going to provide you that experience as well, the real time experience. So most of uh, the projects will be based on Panda board and Raspberry Pi board. But the procedure which you do on each and every board is almost similar but the platform is different so there are very few differences between the boards while doing such projects so this is uh, the base like what uh, we are going to learn in the whole embedded system uh, programming except the first module that is it's only pure analog based electronics the remaining all comes under the embedded system programming the first will be based on pure microcontrollers the second and third will be based on linux and device drivers so this is what uh, we'll be learning in this particular course if you have any queries get back to me thank you very much